I'm going to try and make one of those uh, tripods like what Matthias Wendell made, the sliding dovetail tripod. Only I'm going to try and use a regular dovetail bit and see what the pros and cons would be. Uh, so far what I'm discovering is if you make it too sloppy, it has a tendency to pull up a lot. And uh, I think I'm going to have to make it a lot tighter tolerance. Anyway, I'm going to make it out of some maple. So the first step is to take this rough cut maple board and turn it into some uh, smaller clean boards. pieces of the legs. They are three quarters by one and a quarter. And I'm going to do the same pattern I've done here and I'm going to make the dovetail about half the thickness of the wood. That way it'll end up being a little bit over an inch. So hard to get started. Taking too big of a bite. Ah, oh, there we go. So here's the basic design that I'm going to go with for the uh, piece that holds the three legs. But we don't need all these inside marks messing me up on the saw. Here's the piece for holding the legs at 120 degrees. And I went ahead and I made a uh, circular piece to glue to the bottom of it so that it'll be a bit thicker for when I have the post coming out. It'll even offer me a place to put a thumb screw.
Okay, so apparently wood glue does not hold in a nut very well. So I'm just going to make a little cap piece to screw over top of this. There we go. I think this is going to work. I have my carriage bolt, which I've ground into a round shape, and I've fed it through the backside here. The nut is now trapped inside these two pieces of wood. This is screwed and glued down. So now we just have to add our wing nut and stop nut to the other end here. Trying to figure out the best place to put the uh, nails that are going to hold the legs on. So this is the nail I'm going to use. And uh, <clears throat> I figured out where the center of this round part is, so I put a mark right here to transfer that mark to all the other locations. I think I'll just use my compass. There we go. Now I'll just draw some square lines down and some little lines over so I know where to drill. And I'll drill it from both sides to make sure it stays even. I don't want these ending up crooked. Okay, here we have one of the nails driven in. And I've just stuck some 832 nuts as spacers. And I'll cut this off later, and this is quite the friction fit between this wood and here, but it's a loose fit there. So now I just got to do the other three and we'll be done. So here's what we have so far. There's no rubber pads on the bottom, no member down here to link these all together. It's a little wobbly but it does function so now I just need to add some sort of a platform to the top because this is going to be used to hold a projector well let's get started on the top for this thing so here I have a piece of wood poplar three quarter inch thick it's a uh, seven by nine and I cut a circle out of another piece of poplar which is about three and a half I'm going to center that bore a big hole and then this should be a friction fit After a bit of sanding, I got this to be a nice friction fit. Now I intend for these legs to splay out by about 25 degrees, so I'm going to put a 25 degree cut on the bottom of each leg. So I bought this uh, gripper pad stuff that I'm going to put on the bottom of the feet. I couldn't find any rubber feet, so this is going to have to do. So now I'm just going to cut it to shape. I decided to go with a bigger nail because the legs were just way too wobbly, making the entire thing too wobbly, but now they're actually fairly firm. So I just drove in the last nail. Now it's time to clip her off this, well saw this off, and move on. Okay, so here is the finished product. I haven't put any kind of polyurethane on it yet, but uh, this design is much more stable than the previous one because I made sure that this nail was a friction fit through every piece. So I guess all I need to do is put a coating on this and it'll be good to go.